Thunder Focus T. They oh, I love you so much, Juno. We're out. That's it. That's the guide. That's no one catch. There isn't a single spec that can catch up to you with your with two charges of Thunder Focus T. Not a single spec will ever catch you. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Mystical. Today, I'm going to bring your video on how to fly carry as a Mistweaver monk in VG Blitz and Random Battlegrounds. This is not a joke. Mistweaver is actually a viable fly carry. I think maybe, obviously, tanks and probably balance druids are pretty good fly carries as well, but Mistweaver is right there with them. So this, I just want to go over how you can fly carry as a Mistweaver, what talents to run, everything that you need to know to play Mistweaver if you ever are expected to fly carry. I want to start off with talents because that's probably the most important part about this guide is what you should actually be running. You absolutely want to be running as much mobility as you can on the monk side. So, and you also want to slow them. So I run crashing momentum. So when you roll through a target, it slows them by 60% and then you run the wind's reach, which makes it even better. I think it's 40% and then this buffs it to 60%. You run tires lost. I'll show you why you go extra mobility from your rolls of she turbido you go jade walk for extra movement speed when you're not in combat because you run 15% faster when you just have the flag and no one's around you so that's kind of nice as, as well as being mounted and then you go for quick footed and swift art so these are all really good talents and then you also go for defensives so you want to go dance of the wind fort brew and then I go for the cooldown reduction on it oh I should be going the cooldown reduction on it and then you're gonna go bring a piece, which is good for kiting. And then a really good way to increase your mobility is with lighter than air and your port, your transcendence port. So those talents are what make this happen. Yo, thank you so much for the follow. I'm actually recording this. I appreciate that so much. And yeah, so you're gonna go all that mobility, all those offensives on the monk tree. In the Mistweaver tree, it is quite literally the RBG build that I have in the description. Both these builds are in the description with Chi-Gi instead of Yulon. The reason you go Chi-Gi is because when she's up, you are immune to movement impairing effects. So you can't get rooted or slowed. You can still get grip from Death Knights, but you everything else you're immune to. And then for hero talents, you are gonna wanna go Master of Harmony and for for and no other reason than besides you get an extra charge of thunder focus t which i'll show you why that's so important but there's other reasons so this talent right here makes it so tiger's loss reduces the cooldown on roll by five seconds it also includes she torpedo which is really important and then there's a stagger one right here so four proof grants 20 percent stagger which essentially takes 20 percent of the damage you should be taking and puts it as a dot on you so that's in, insane so four proof is an even better cooldown and then yeah there's bonus healing and all that but those are the main things you want the extra charge of thunder focus t you want the reduced cooldown on your tiger's lust or roll with ti um sorry you want the reduced cooldown on roll or cheat torpedo with tiger's lust and then you want the stagger from your fort brew for pvp talents you're gonna want to run these three Th these are the only three i run really even in just rbgs in general but especially when you're fist weave you want to run these three peace weaver makes it so your restores cooldown is reduced by 50 percent and you're immune to any magical and harmful effects so any kind of cc any kind of magic damage anything like that this makes you immune, plus it makes your revival a minute and a half cooldown, which is nice. Thunder's Focus T. So this is it right here. This is what makes Mistweavers viable as Flag Curious. This makes it so your Crackling Jade Lightning does that knockback effect, or it causes Roll and Chi Torpedo to refund a charge when you use it. And it heals you. So this is what makes it so good. This is why you want to run Master of Harmony. So you get that second second charge of Thunder Focus T. And then finally, Eminence allows you to port while stunned. And you could use you could, this happens when you are holding the flag as well. So if you're holding the flag and you get stunned, you could just port away. And those are your those are your PvP talents. Those are your talents. And I'm gonna show you how to flag carry. The goal of flag carrying is to get from the enemy base to your base as fast as you can without dying. It's pretty simple and Mistweaver can outrun every single spec in the game. I don't think there's a single spec that can come close to your mobility. I'm gonna show you why. Death Knight is the only annoying one because they have grip, but even then, if with a well-timed Chi G, after you get the, like gripped or port, you can you can just zoom past them. Or like in this clip right here, when the, the uh, Evoker rescues, rescues me from the grip from the Death Knight, it's, it's insane. So, well, well done, Rescue, uh, by the way. So I'm going to show you how to just fly carry. So like I mentioned, Thunder Focus T with Thunderous Focus T re gives you an extra charge of Chi Torpedo. Essentially, you're going to have six Chi Torpedoes with also light lighter than air because you get that after every single Chi Torpedo. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to show you what I do. So I will Thunder Focus T, roll, dash, Chi Torpedo, dash, Thunder Focus T, Chi Torpedo, Dash, Chi Torpedo, 
dash chi torpedo dash chi torpedo dash so <laughs> there isn't a single there isn't a single spec that can catch up to you the reason we have two charges of thunder focus t is because we have focus thunder so that allows us to use two rolls with our thunder's focus t instead of one now on top of that we have chiji so we use our all of our mobility there we use our chi torpedo or thunder focus t or thunder's focus t lighter than air we get our reduced snares from quick footed and we remove one snare with swift art which is great but chiji is the best way to just get out of any slows. So Chi-Gi makes it so you are immune to movement and pairing effects. And this doesn't change your rotation at all when you have the flag. You essentially just want to, what I do is I try to hold my mobility until the other team is notices that I'm passing them. And if I get slowed or if I get gripped, after that initial grip, I will Chi-Gi, Thunder Focus T, Chi Torpedo, Dash, Chi Torpedo, Dash, Thunder Focus T, Chi Torpedo, Dash, into another chi torpedo dash chi torpedo dash into another chi torpedo into a dash and chi has gone by that time but by the time you chi has over you should be at your base there should be no reason why you aren't there and then as soon as you get to your base you want to make sure you put a port up top so what i do is i'll on the top of war sun gulch i'll go to the the third floor and i'll put my port up there and then i'll go around to the side of the base and you could just chill right there just chill right here and if someone tries to get to you, you could just port. And even if you're stunned, because you, ha you have eminence, you could port. You could use your revival if you get stunned and you don't have no port. On Twin Peaks, you put it on the second floor. And then you go around broken broken ramp and you get to port while stunned there too. Some quick little tips and tricks when it comes to flag carrying. Now, I am not an experienced flag carrier, but I feel like I'm an experienced misweaver. So I'm going to do my best to give you some tips. Uh, for one, uh, in on Twin Peaks... You could do two pretty cool things depending on what side you are. If you're on the Horde side, that means you are going to be taking the Alliance flag and you could take the flag and just Chi Torpedo off the edge and then dash at the end. So you could Chi Torpedo off and then dash with the flag. So that'll give you a huge head start on anyone who might be in the base or just zoom past anyone who isn't paying attention. If you're on the Alliance side and you are getting the Horde flag, you can take the flag and roll with your lighter than air and you can walk on water. So you could just completely just zoom past on water side. You will not be slowed. You'll have your Chi Torpedo uh, speed buff. So you can actually just, it doesn't matter what side you're on, you have really good advantages on Twin Peaks. Six stacks is the magic number for when your roll stops rolling. So you need to make sure that by the time you're at six stacks, you have an offense that is ready to kill the enemy flag carrier. Otherwise your roll is gonna start doing nothing and you're gonna take a lot of damage. So keep that in mind. Maybe that's a time where you're going to want to swap flags with like the Bounce Druid or the tank on your team who might be able to be a, obviously a lot tankier. Um, but six stacks is when your rolls stop, stop going far, which is really important to pay attention to. I mentioned it earlier, but this talent right here, the crashing momentum with the wind's reach. So what I found myself doing is right before a team engages with me, I will try to roll into them. So I'll try to roll through them and you'll see I roll and then they get slowed by 60%. And then I'm just going to chi G and then I'll just do my, my rotation of just rolling away. So they're slowed by 60% <laughs> for how long? I think it's for eight seconds. Yeah, for eight seconds, they're slowed. And then I'm chi G and I can't be slowed and I'm just running past them. So before you even get engaged or if a team is about to collapse on you, just try to roll through them. That way they're all slow. They all have that debuff and they, they have no chance of catching you. And finally, I mentioned it, but you can port while stunned. That's why I play Eminence. If you don't have Eminence available, you could also rotate your Revival or your Restoral. Try not to overlap your Restoral with your Eminence because those are the two buttons that you can use while stunned. But that is pretty much it for when it comes to flag carrying. Again, your goal is to get from the enemy base with the flag to your base and get to the roof, set up a port, Run around the outside of the base, and then you can port while stunned, revive while stunned. Just try to be as annoying as possible. Roll through enemies to slow them so they can't catch up to you, and then just do your flag carry rotation with Chi-G. With your Thunder Focus T, zoom right past them. You'll be in your base in no time. No, no spec can catch up to you, not a single one. You are the number one fastest spec in the game and you're going to do fine. I, I would expect that Miss Weaver will be an absolute viable flag carrier, even in higher ranks. If there's no balance shooter tanks on your team, you'll probably be expected to FC. 
So try to get comfortable doing it. It is a lot of fun. I love just zooming past everybody. With that said, I'm going to leave just one or two clips uh, at the end of this video showing it in, in action, showing you how it's actually done and how I do it. So that is it for me. Hope everyone has a fantastic rest of the day. Hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you later. We're going to try to just zoom past everybody. We're just going to not try to fight anyone. Just going to kind of make my way. Oh. All right, and we're out. I'm triggering this. Reset my port. Okay. Thunder focus T. They, oh, I love you so much, Juno. We're out. That's it. That's the guide. That's no one catch. There isn't a single spec that can catch up to you with your, with two charges of Thunder focus T. Not a single spec will ever catch you. In cap this. Sweep this. I'm checking this. GG Thunder Focus T route. <laughs> okay. And we're out of there. They can't even catch us. Right here. Casting Tiger's Lust reduces the cooldown on roll by five seconds. So you run out of rolls. And then you Tiger's Lust. And then you get you get a I guess you get a seventh. Alright. Two, three, four. Yeah, it's six. And then you roll, and you can roll again. And if you have, if you're lucky enough to get the cheat torpedo back from Tiger's List, you are. But that's, I mean, that's it right there. You just chi G, so you're not slowed, and then you, then you just roll.